E. Okay. So, Alex Brady, you watch. Shivashini, Sonia, Rose, Chaoyi, Sweta, Huyin, Khadija. Okay, let's go. Okay, so before that, before we start, take out your book. Okay. Okay, so A, this is question 6A. Right. So this is your jadwal persamar perikonan. So for your jadwal persamar perikonan, how would it be like? So you start with your urus niago. Okay, but for this question, is not uh they don't give you the A B C D or or the the Romans one two three four five six right. For this one, they give you upper. They give you tare. Ah. Okay, so there are two types, uh, like satu yala, they give you A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and then the other one will be uh, the tarik. So for tarik one, so instead of writing urus niaga, then you just letak apa? Uh, tarik lah, okay? So you quickly prepare your, this your table, okay? So this one will be tarik. Okay, here all... Off the loop. Oops. Clean it. Okay, so it'll be like that. Your asset here, your lovely plus equity per mille here. Okay, but then we are not sure about the, the how many columns you need to have. All right. So from here, number kendaraan. So you have to know. Kendaraan yalapa. Is it the asset, liability, or equity per mille? So surely, kendaraan yalah satu asset. So you put it here. Okay, after that will be a cumbulum terima. So I'll put ABT lah, all right. Okay, the pass will be inventory. Okay, inventory 29 di tangan will be 29 lah. Uh, then bank, overdraft bank. All right, so this overdraft bank should be it, it can be either here or here. All right, but uh, now we just put it in asset bank. All right, if if overdraft bank, then it will be in liability. But now for bank, but later we put bracket minus because this is overdraft. Overdraft means minus. Okay, then the pass to account volume buyer will be in the liability. So I'll put ABB here. Then modal. And lastly, your untung bersih. Like that. So that's extra. Okay, maybe I'll just make it. Uh, oh, mm. Yeah, that maybe. So this one can go. Draw line. So, so far it's like that. Okay, we'll be preparing something like this. Then you draw line, 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 line. Okay, so are you done? If done, you have something like this already. Is it out already? Then give me a done, D O N E, in the chat box. Okay, if not yet, I'll give you some time to prepare it. If you have done, prepare, then you give me a done in the chat box. All right, so I give you two minutes. Okay, two minutes to prepare this. Actually, you don't need two minutes, uh, one minute. All right, so for those that young student done with you, okay, go through this question and see how to start. Okay, I can tell you how to start. So now, after that, you put a baki awal here. Or then you don't put baki awal, so maybe you put uh, June 
one. Okay, so for the kendaraan, you look at the number. So 56,000, you put 56,000. All right, so account balloon terima, 4,700. So you put 4,700. Uh, 4, okay, so quickly, for those that have done, then you insert this figure into here, into the column. And you have done, then give me a done two. Or just give me a two if you have done uh, this one. Put all the figure in. But now I want to make sure everyone has done this table. Huh? Just the table. If you have done the table, you put it done. So that I can proceed. Now, if there is a question mark, meaning what? Meaning is not zero. Huh? It's not dash. Huh? Question mark means what? Meaning you have to go and find out yourself. What is the figure for this question mark? Ah. Okay, so later I'll show you how, but I can give you the hints. Okay, the hints is find out what is the formula for to get your model. All right, so for you to get your model, you need to remember this formula. The very basic formula, which is the asset equals to liability plus equity per million, which is this one. Asset equals to liability plus equity per million. So from here, you get your equity per million is actually equals to your asset. Your L move to the left will become a minus liability. So this equity per million, we can make it as a model as well. So model equals to asset minus liability. All right. So you will have to find all the asset, then you minus your liability. Wait, tapi there is a untung besar here. Alright, so you have to know like how to uh, do this for this untung besar. Uh, Alright, so it's for this equity value to be more precise. It's actually your model. Uh, sorry, plus the undung bersih minus your ambilan. You're right, hopefully. Yeah. So your modal, equity per million equals to modal plus undung bersih minus your ambilan equals to asset minus liability. Because this part equals to equity per million. If you still remember, so it's really all in your nota. Look at here. Uh, yep, you see, equity per million equals to modal tambah untung rugi tolak your ambilan. So that's why this is like that. Okay, so you got your modal. Your modal is tatau, and then your untung bersih is how much? 3,650. And ada ambilan tak? Tak ada ambilan. So it's zero. Alright, so minus zero. Then minus uh, equals to your asset minus the liability. So you have to find out how much is your asset. So all the asset you add up. So what are the asset? Ini lah. All the asset. And then this is the liability. So you try to find out how much you get for your model. Okay, so for now your inventory is. 2080, your 29 is 900, so you put it in. Your bank, nah, this one is overdraft bank, so therefore this 1730 should be in bracket because it's minus. All right? Okay, then 3300, your account volume buyer, 3300. And this one you don't know. This one undung bersih is 3650. Oh. Okay. Hmm, let me think. Huh? So bang. Mm, 
should I put it here? Okay, uh, for this question, we put we remain here, lah, okay, so that you won't be confused. Yeah, okay, so uh, okay, so let's continue for this more down. All right, so from here, how, how much is a model? Or another way is you get this figure, right? So you add one, you add this one, add this one, add this one, minus this one, minus this one, minus this one, you get this model. Okay, but I want you to know the uh, formula, therefore you use this one. Model plus undung bersih minus ambulan equals to asset. So first, find out how much is a jumlah asset. Okay, your jumlah asset is actually five uh, fifty-six thousand plus four thousand seven hundred plus two thousand and eighty. This one plus nine hundred. Then you get your your jumlah asset is sixty-three thousand six hundred eighty. And what about your liability? So your liability is uh, this one. Your old draft bank one thousand seven hundred and thirty. Plus three thousand and I mean three thousand three hundred, so it's five thousand and thirty. So this is your jumlah liability. Can you see it? All right. And then now you sub it, you bring all this figure into it in here. So your modal you don't know modal. So I make it M. Okay. Then how much is your untung basi? Your untung basi is three thousand six hundred and fifty three six five zero. Ambulance zero, right? So we skip it. So asset, how much is sixty three thousand six hundred eighty minus the liability five thousand and thirty. So how much will you get six thousand six sixty three thousand six hundred eighty minus the eight thousand and thirty. You get fifty eight thousand six hundred and fifty. So that is M plus three six five O equals to this figure. And then now for you to get your model, which is your M. We use this figure fifty eight thousand six hundred and fifty minus your three thousand six hundred and fifty, and you will get how much? Fifty five thousand. So meaning this your model will be fifty five thousand. Do you get it? Yes or no? If yes, give me a yes. No, give me a no. Make sure you can get this one. Right, so this is your model. So this is max. Okay, so you need to know how to move from the left equation to the right equation. And if it is a minus, you have to become a, a plus. If it is a plus, then here you become a minus. All right, so these are all the basic max. Okay, so now if I want to check the answer, can we check? Yes, so you just add up all this figure and add up all this figure. At the end, it must be the same. You remember because asset zero. If asset here is zero, here must be zero as well. If here is one, the total jumlah asset is satu. Then your liability plus equity per mile must be satu juga. That's why it's called persamaan. It's the same. All right. So you can go and check yourself, but I'm pretty confident that uh, this is 55,000, okay, based on this uh, calculation. But just to double check, okay, let me do a double checking. Okay, so your Joomla liability plus equity per minute is 61,950. And what about this one? Joomla asset plus inventory plus two nine and then maybe i need to minus the bank which is one seven three oh so you see all the asset and the lovely plus security per minute is here okay it's the same sixty one thousand nine hundred fifty for asset and sixty one thousand nine hundred fifty for lively plus equity per minute so correct okay now let's continue so this is june first okay and by the way this is your bakia as i've told you for this personal pregnant, they are dual chara. Okay, the first 
is what? The first is when dia memulakan perniagaan, which we have done in last class. Okay, memulakan perniagaan meaning at the beginning, the other all these figure punya. Alright, so they will say start with upper moda with upper, then you do like this one. The first question is, uh, memulakan perniagaan this one. Memulakan perniagaan. Right, so for this question, this question uh, six is different. As you, have, uh, as you can see from here, mereka bagi you baki. So these are all the baki awal, the balance from last month. So they bring down to here. So at the beginning, when we are recording, we have to put in all the figure. All right? Okay. Then, okay. all right, here. So let's continue. So now we start with second. Number two. Okay, June second menjual separuh daripada inventory kepada Incheck Ama two thousand two hundred separuh one or two half. Okay, so do you remember how to do this? So how much is the inventory now? Two thousand and eighty, right? So from this two thousand eighty separuh, so you use two thousand eighty times or divide by two, okay, or times one over two, so you get. 1040 so you have to draw when you draw meaning this inventory color you minus your inventory 1040 okay and when you draw kepada inchek amat now for this kind of question they didn't say if it is a secara tunai or secara credit but when you see secara uh, kepada incik amat ada nama kat situ so normally this we kita anggarkan sebagai account belum terima meaning is secara kredit okay please take note so ini kepada incik amat abt so here in my abt i add how much berapa yang kita jual we sell for 2200 ringgit in the abb 2200 all right, so the inventory is just 1,040 ringgit. The cost is 1,040 ringgit. But when I sell, I sell for 2,200 ringgit. Meaning, berapa yang kita telah untung. So you use the 2,200, apa yang kamu jual, your selling price, minus kamu punya cost, which is 1,040. You got 1,160. This 1,160 is your Untung. So you put in your untung per se, 1160. And when you want to check your answer, you add all the asset. So when you add everything here, it's how much? 1160. And when you find it for your liability per security per million in your 2nd of uh, June, is how much? 1160. You add this one, add this one, this zero plus zero plus one six zero, this one six zero. So sama dah, sama lah. So sama normally is betul. Alright. So please take note lah. This is a, a common mistake normally student will make because the thing that apa yang kamu jual inventory yang ke sini, then uh, it's the same figure. No. Alright. Because kita nak untung, we want to make money. Alright. So when you beli satu kasut this one hundred ringgit, this apa yang kamu beli. But when you draw, of course, you draw for higher. Maybe you draw for 200 ringgit. So, ini ialah kamu punya cost. Ini ialah kamu punya jualan. Apa yang kamu jual. So, 200 dollar 100, you get 100. So, 100 ini ialah kamu punya untung. Miss it? So, for this three part, we have to record here. Okay, now. Are you guys okay? If okay, give me an okay. Okay, give me an okay in your chat box. So for those that have done the exercises, okay, the homework, I'm pretty sure you're okay with it, all right? Because I think a lot of exercises, they have this kind of uh, uh, questions. So when you did once, twice, thrice, the four times, uh, then the other, the other masala for this one, all right? So now we go to the third one. So sekeping check 1,100 ringgit yang diterima daripada pelanggan telah dipulangkan oleh bank dengan tanda rujuk penuruh bayar. So this tanda 
penyuruh bayar or when you see dipulangkan oleh bank this is a check tak laku what is a check tak laku meaning this is a bounce check What is a bounce check? Okay. So based on this scenario, uh, so let me translate uh, into a story for you. Okay. So, uh, so can we check one thousand one hundred ringgit? So the determinant of the pelanggan. So your pelanggan means your ABT here. Okay, your customer. So sekarang dia bayar. So now, let's say Bob is my customer. My account belum terima. Okay, so today Bob give me one thousand ringgit check. On check, ah, huh? check is on the paper, huh? All right. So it's not like because back then they don't have online transfer. Okay, normally they use check. Now it's very convenient. You just online transfer, bank transfer, may bank to you M A E. Okay. But before that, they use check, All right? So this check, Bob write okay on this check one thousand ringgit, and then Bob will sign on this check, and then give to me. Because Bob need to pay me, okay? So Bob perlu bayar saya, so dia uh, keluarkan check kepada saya. So from here, I terima lah. I would receive this check. When I receive this check, the money is not mine yet. Okay, I haven't received one thousand ringgit yet. So what I have to do next, Yola, I have to go to the bank. I'll go to my bank. All right. Then there is a machine for check. All right. There's a two machine there. So what I'm going to do is, I need to put this check into the machine. Yeah, but of course, before that, there is some uh, works to do, right? So to ensure that this one thousand ringgit is going into my bank account, all right? So there maybe there is a, a small envelope outside. So you you write your account number, okay? My account number there, because this one thousand ringgit is depositing into my account. So I have to write my my name, maybe my account number. Some required details, okay, information. Then I'll put this check into the the envelope. Then I'll put into the machine. So then the machine will process take like one, two, or three days of business business days, okay. Then I will see the one thousand ringgit in my bank account. All right. So far, you understand how it works for check. If yes, give me a yes. All right, so this is how it works for a check. But nowadays you don't see lah. Okay, you, I think you don't even follow your your parents to bank to to do check because just what online transfer ta 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 then send over. All right, but I remember back then when I was really young like five or six years old, I would follow my parents to go to the bank because back then they need to do check. Okay, so now. What about this check talaku? What about this bounce check? So now the problem is the one thousand ringgit this envelope thing. Okay, you need to put in the machine. When you after you put in the machine, then the bounce back. The dipulangkan. Can you see or not? That's why it says dipulangkan oleh bank. Ah, uh, just like you you go to any shopping mall, then in the parking, you need to insert the ticket. Okay, after you need to pay for the ticket, right? You see the ticket, and then you put money, your your currency note, one ringgit into the machine, and then when you put it into the machine, and then the the one ringgit comes out again. Have you experienced that before? Yeah, so it's the same thing. Why? So maybe the one ringgit is uh not uh not complete, or there's some sudah rosak in it, or dia tak uh is not how do you say a lot of um. You get what I mean, right? So maybe there's some bocho person need to get a new, a newer one ringgit, okay? Then perfect one, you put it in it, then dear, boleh jalan. You can go in smoothly, and then then you go for another one ringgit, okay? So it's the same thing for here. 
So maybe when the check Tadaku, maybe the bank account the other money, maybe Bob don't have 1,000 ringgit in his bank account. That's why the, the check will be uh, Tadaku. Or maybe the, the check, the ink on it uh, spread over. Okay, so uh, koto or whatever. Okay, so this or suda is wet. The paper, the check is wet. So it can't be processed. So these are different factors or reasons that may result in check talaku. So when check talaku meaning you, you didn't get this 1,000 ringgit lah. You know what I mean? So when kita tak dapat this 1,000 ringgit, we have to take out from our record. Because when we dapat this check, we will record in our accounting. There's a buku that I will say, okay, I should have tapak 1,000 ringgit from Bob. But I haven't gone to the bank yet, so now I go to the bank, eh, nampak, eh, Bob tak ada 1,000 ringgit in their, their new bank. That's why this check tak laku. So when that happens, I have to come back to my, uh, this accounting book, I have to take out 1,000 ringgit from Bob because Bob hasn't paid me yet. Okay, so from here, so come back to here, how to record for it. So I have to take out this 1,100 ringgit yang diterima. So yelah, check that aku. So in the bank here, I have to take out, I have to minus 1,100 ringgit. All right. And then at the same time, my account belum terima. Bob punya hutang akan bertambah 1,100 ringgit again. All right, so this is how you record for number three. So do you understand? Yes, give me a CTL. Check tak laku, CTL. So do you know now? All right. Give me a CTL. Check tak laku. Remember this CTL, huh? because when you go to form five, you will get to see CTL again. Check tak laku. All right which uh, I think a lot of students here, they are, which are Form 5, they have seen it. All right, so check Talaku. So now we move on to 5. Mengeluarkan check bernilai 1,800 kepada pembekal bagi menyelesaikan hutang. Okay, this one. Mengeluarkan check, meaning you write check. Now you bayar kepada your pembekal. Your pembekal here, ialah kamu punya ABB. Your account belum bayar. Alright, so you pay to your account belum bayar. So when you pay, by the way, this is uh, fifth. So when you bayar, obviously your check akan kurang. And by the way, this is already, you already overdraft bank. But you don't have money, you still can keluar. <laughs> money. Okay, so you keluarkan check 1,800 ringgit to this pembekal. Okay, now, untuk menyelesaikan hutang 1980. Maybe our ABB sini, kita tak tolak 1,800 ringgit lah. We tolak 1,980. Alright, so when you compare Okay, when you want to calculate your asset, your asset is minus 1,800. Mana kalau your liability plus equity permanent here is minus 1,980. Tak imbang at all. All right, so what is the difference? 1,980 minus 1,800. Yalah, 1,800. Betul tak? So this is the difference between these two. Between the asset and liability plus equity bond rate. So actually, this 180 difference yula satu discount. Thank you, discount debury. All right, so this is a discount debury. So, what does discount debury mean? So, let's say sekarang kita hutang to the ABB is 1980. So this is the actual amount that kita hutang, 1980. But today, Jeffrey, let's say, pembekal ini, your ABB is Jeffrey. So Jeffrey say, okay, if you pay 
the amount today, okay, you don't have to pay full. You just pay 1,800 ringgit. Uh, then you settle for your ABB for this Jeffrey Winner. So when you hear that, ooh, not better. So if I pay today, I just have to pay 1,800 ringgit, but saya settle the hutang yang yala 198 o bunya. All right, so the 1980 minus 1800, the difference is 180 ringgit, meaning Jeffrey bagi saya 180 ringgit bunya discount. You get it? And this discount we record in our untung basis in your know, untung rugi. And discount di beri je lah satu. Happy or not? When you dapat discount. When you dapat discount, you're happy. You go to shopping, you dapat discount, you save the money, which is a discount. So when you save the money, there's something like a hasil. You know what I mean? So when you're happy, when you're happy, then it's hasil. That's why the hasil start with H because H for happy. Ah, So you, do you like hasil? You like income? Yes. You don't like what per belanja because belanja you need to buy ah uh, that is sad but when you have hasil you're happy ah uh, therefore here you tambah 180 ringgit so now you try again so your jumla for asset is 1800 ringgit minus 1800 but for liability plus equity you try you use minus 1980 plus 180 you get what minus 1800 nah, imbang dah. okay or not for number five your tarif five if okay give me a five in the chat box so these are a bit technical a bit tough so you need to understand them if you don't understand after one or two classes you forget Right, that's why you pay attention when I'm explaining it, and then you we do together. Okay, all right, great. So now let's continue. So this is that's all for five. Now we move on to nine. Membeli barang niaga secara tunai four ringgit. So you beli barang niaga secara tunai. So very simple, I think. So your tunai you minus four hundred because you beli, buy ah. Okay, and then you barang niaga. So barang niaga you add into your inventory, you add 400 ringgit. Okay, then you go to 11. So 11 je lah menerima tunai 1070 untuk commission. So this commission is a hasil. All right, so hasil, good lah. All right, because you terima tunai. You terima tunai, you're happy, you're hasil. So this 1070, this commission will be in the undung bersih, 1070. Right, and then the other place will be you terima tunai. So your tunai akan bertambah 1070. So you see, ini dan sini sama, meaning imbang. Right, then we move on to 13. Okay, membeli barang niaga secara kredit daripada pembolong jam. Okay, so ini very specific, they tell you secara kredit. So when secara kredit, meaning this pembolong jam, ialah kamu punya account by the way, this is beli. Therefore, it's account belum B. B for beli, bayar. Alright, so account belum bayar 4,900. And you beli barang niaga. So this barang niaga inventory, you add 4,900 ringgit. And then at the same time, this is a child credit. Therefore, your account belum bayar here, you tambah 4,900. This is, this is very straightforward. Okay, after 13 will be 16. Okay, 16. So 16 memulangkan. Can you see now? Now you memulangkan barang yang rosak 190 ringgit kepada pemborong jam. Okay, tadi kita beli, we add inventory. But when we pulangkan, you have to, you pulangkan. So your inventory akan berkurang. So when you berkurang, you got the minus. You minus berapa? Berapa yang kamu pulangkan? 190 ringgit so you minus 190 okay and then at the same time tadi you hutang uh, pemborong jam 4900 ringgit but sekarang saya pulangkan benda itu kepada awak dah so at the same time my hutang akan berkurang same 1000 uh, sorry 190 ringgit so whenever you do the comparison you do the persamaan 4900 equals 4900 Good. Minus one nine 
190 minus 190 in the library particular family. Sama? Good. Okay, now, who the 20? When dia tak sama, ah, meaning is not good already. Okay, when it is sama, normally it's good. Okay, then we go to 20. You membayar sewa. You, nampak tak? Bayar sewa. Okay, dengan, okay. Now, this one is not from your perniagaan. Normally, they will say either dengan tunai or check. Betul tak? Okay. But for this, a bit special, dia cakap dengan wang peribadi. And I told you peribadi means sendiri. Okay, peribadi, sendiri, same meaning. So now you are paying sewa kedai, the rent for your shop, your shop rental, 650 ringgit using my own pocket money. What does my own pocket money mean? Meaning from my own, okay? What, what am I saying? So I told you what is entity berasingan, you still remember? So a business is different from the pemilik, meaning me. Ah. Okay, this is called entity berasingan. On English, we call it uh, separate entity. Something like that. Okay. Law of separate entity or separate entity person. Uh, like that. Okay. So entity berasingan meaning they are separated. So business is business. So business should use the business own money to pay for the business own expenses. While permulate will use the permulate own money to pay for the permulate own expenses. Okay, you need to pay for your son's tuition fee. You, you should use your own money. You shouldn't use from the bank. Oh, oh, sorry, from the business money. If that happens, then we need to record in Ambilan. Betul? Okay, but if your the business is using the money from the family to pay for the expenses of the business, then we have to add into our model. Meaning this one we, we consider it as a model tambahan. All right. So for 20, come back here. So you read again, you buy a saver kedai your business dengan menggunakan wang pemilik everybody sendiri. Okay, so the saver is a belanja, so belanja will put. All the belanja and hasil will be in the unum bersih. All right. So here your belanja therefore is a minus six hundred and fifty ringgit. All right. Okay. And then dari pada mana dari pada wang peribadi. So when that happens, you add the six hundred fifty into your modal. Six hundred ditambah. Meaning now the capital from the modal dari pada pemilik telah bertambah. Okay, six fifty. So when you do the persamaan, the asset is zero. Betul tak? For 20, so this is zero for asset. Okay, now you compare here. Your liability plus equity So you 650 plus, okay, this is a minus 650. So it's actually zero. Is it not? So your zero here and zero here. So sama, sama means aye. All right, okay, now continue. Last one, 24th. Terima check. Daripada pelanggan, your ABT, 4,230 bagi menjelaskan semua hutang 4,700. Now, this one is a bit similar to number five. All right, so when you read five, ialah mengeluarkan check, okay, untuk menyelesaikan hutang this much. You pay lesser, but you clear off the hutang, which is higher. Okay? But for now, it's the balik. Sekarang, you terima. You tak bayar. You terima check. Okay, we did this earlier. So, you terima check dari pelenggan your ABT. 4230. So, you terima check. Your check, your bank, akan bertambah. 4,230. So, you add. Betul? Okay. But, Untuk menjelaskan semua hutang, how much is the hutang yang kita jelaskan sekarang? It is 4,700. 
hundred. Can you see it? It's four thousand seven hundred. Meaning from my ABT here, I should deduct. I perlu tolak not four two three zero. Okay, bukan four two three zero ah. Yeah lah, four thousand seven hundred because this is the hutang and dijelaskan. Ah, is it? From here, tak sama, kan? So when tak ada sama meaning, there is a difference in between four thousand seven hundred and four two three. So you use the four thousand seven hundred minus the four thousand two hundred thirty. How much we get? Get four hundred and seventy ringgit. Okay, so what does it mean? This four hundred and seventy ringgit. Yes, you're right. Is discount, but this discount is not dia bagi saya discount. Impossible. Imagine you're selling a shirt or you're selling food. Okay, you have a restaurant. You sell food. So you got customer comes to the restaurant and order uh nasi lemak, all right. So the nasi lemak you state there it is eight ringgit, is in the menu, all right. So the customer comes in, the pelanggan come in and makan nasi lemak tu. After that, the customer tell you, ah, I will just pay five ringgit lah. <laughs> I will just pay five ringgit and I will get discount two ringgit. Boleh tak? Can the customer tell you? That he wants discount and then he gets a discount cannot because he is the customer. He doesn't set the rule. Who set the rules? The business owner. Look at that. So if I say I give you discount, then only the customer will get the discount. You know what I mean? So maybe eight ringgit after after you eat after the person eat, then I say, ah, uh, sekarang hari raya saya buat hari raya special. Uh, so when you come to come to my restaurant and eat during Hari Raya, uh, I give you three ringgit discount, three ringgit off. All right, so three ringgit off. So this three ringgit is a discount delivery here. Sekarang kita ada terima discount. Sekarang you berikan discount. Tadi ialah discount diterima. I think I mentioned discount delivery here, but this one is actually a discount deterima. Okay, that's why deterima, t terima. That's why it's in hasil. Okay, but now you berikan discount. When you berikan discount, imagine. At first you can earn eight ringgit banyak, but sekarang you discount kan three ringgit. Maksudnya you sudah apa rugi. Three ringgit, you earn la three ringgit lesser. So this is this discount delivery. The B is actually a B for belanja, and therefore the four hundred and seventy will be under the untung besi. And because this is a belanja, it will be in bracket four hundred and seventy. Tada! So when you do the math. You you try to sum up, kan? Okay, you asset equals to four minus four thousand seven hundred plus four two three zero. Then your asset side will equals to four hundred seventy. All right, positive four hundred seventy. And then for your liability plus equity pemilik. Hey, no, no, sorry. Your minus four hundred seventy plus four thousand two hundred thirty is actually minus four hundred seventy. Right? Yep. Hmm. Okay, and then for here, your BT plus equity per unit is minus four hundred seventy as well. Tada! So it's the same. So do you understand for twenty four? So there is discount delivery and discount determinant. You have to see carefully. So if discount delivery, you delivery can discount, then it is a belanja. But when you terima discount determinant, then that is a hasil. All right. So for the rest, do you understand up to twenty four? So from one to twenty four, if yes, give me a twenty four. Two four two four. Okay, great. All right. So 
after that you know what to do right okay so you just add up everything and then put it in your bucket bucket here so for here because this is direct right instead of bucket here you can put the last date of june so june will be uh one two three four five six six is here right so it will be small so small means june 30th will be the last day of june so uh add up everything put it here so this one will be any plus this one plus this one then you minus four thousand seven hundred this one okay then you get three thousand three hundred and for your inventory same thing 2080 you minus 1040 after that you plus your 400 you plus your 4100 and then you minus up your 190 and get 6150 okay then for your 29 same thing your 900 then you minus your 400 and then you add your 1070 and you will get 1570 for your tonight okay but for this bank is a bit unfortunate because uh 4230 is a positive number but you have to minus 1730 you minus 1100 and you have to minus 1800 I think that will be minus. Yes, it will be minus 400. And if it's a minus, remember you don't put minus sign. Instead, you should use the bracket sign for your minus. Okay. Then your ABB, same thing. Do the same thing for everything. Use a calculator. Calculate it uh, carefully. All right. Yes, sometimes you add the wrong number. All right, so B, what is it? Force 1080 plus 4, uh, 4, it should be minus, right? Okay, minus 190. Okay, 6030, and then your more down, add up, get 55,650. Lastly, your untung bose, your untung bose, 3650. You add your 1160 at 180. At 1070 minus 650 minus 470, and you get 4940. So, after you get all this figure, what's next is your Joomla. Right, you put in a column. This is to double check all your answer here. Okay, so you use this one, all the assets you add up together. 3,300, 6,150, 1,570 for your 2,9. Lastly, minus your bank, which is 400. Boom, you get 66620. Okay, what about your liability by security permit? They should be the same as your asset. All right, so here, 6,030 plus 55,650 plus 4,940. And what do you get? You get 6,6620. You see, it's the same. And they must be the same. All right, if the summer, something wrong in your calculation, or maybe there's a discount you didn't record here in the Undung Berset. Uh, something like that will happen. So make sure you double check and make sure it's the same. So up until here, have you done? Okay, have you done, have you done up until here? If yes, give me a yes. All right, if no, then I give you some time to complete it. Because from here, we need to proceed down to the B part, which is your penyata uh, kedudukan kewangan. All right. Okay, so I give you two minutes. Okay, two minutes to complete this part.
up to Joomla. Okay, so for those who have done, you may look at the format for penyata kedudukan kewarna, your PKK over here. All right. So I'll give you two minutes to 27. Okay, I guess done. Okay, 27. So let's continue. If you have not done, take photo. Okay, save it in your album. You can keep it for five years if you want to. Right. Mm. Okay. So after this one, then B, your PKK. So you saw the format, it's not very uh, complicated, I would say, right? Because at the end of the day, you, you any, anyhow, whether you like it or not, you have to master this, all right? Your PKK, Penyata Kudun Kongan. Okay, so before you do your Penyata, as you can see, this is a Penyata. Okay, this is a statement. No, whenever you say penyata, you need to include the name. So at top, on top here. So the name here will be penyaga unknown nonsense. After that, what is the title for this statement? This penyata. Penyata in English means statement. All right, just like you have a bank statement, which is called penyata bank. So in the Penyata Bank, there is a title, the name of the bank, the CIMB Bank, then they will show like, what is this? This is a bank statement. Okay, so when you want to tell people what is this, so you have to show, this is a Penyata Kedudukan Kewangan. All right, so you just copy. Actually, you can just copy from here to the end. Pada, so all this must have. All right, is a format 30th June 2020. So, all this you don't have to memorize, you just have to know. And then, once you have known, you just copy every time this, it is given, like this one. Uh, so, you just copy the title here until here. All right, bentuk T, you don't have to copy. This is just to tell you, you have to prepare something that is bentuk T. Okay, and after that, since you can see this is a bentuki, why is it called a bentuki? Is because it has a shape of a T, like this one. Boom. Can you see? So you one line, and then in the middle, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, A, and about the five. Okay, maybe I'll extend it a bit, or maybe I'll 
close down a bit. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me get up to here. That look nicer. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, then here. Do something like that. A, a straight line in the middle. This one you can throw it off. Uh, like that. So can you see a T that? Uh, that's why it's called a bento T. Alright, and so here is the format for it. You can see I already given you the format, the name, the title, and then the T. And there's another format which is called a bento there's bentuk T, there is another bentuk penyata. Okay, and this bentuk penyata you learn in your bab 7, form 4. Okay, but for now, it's just bentuk T, very simple. Okay, and this T, you say, is more... Uh, normally, when in a company, when they're doing the accounting, they will do bentuk T normally. Okay, because it's easier. Okay, you just show everything, you just draw something like a T, and then you put all the booty run, all the item here, the plus to the, the RM, the, the, the numbers, the numbers here. Okay, but what about the penyata? The penyata normally is just to present it nicely to people, to the public. Ah, all right, just like very simple. Uh, do you know that if you want to go to the front, okay, not go to the front, lah, okay, while you're doing your own homework, you, I think most of uh, some of you will do your own nota, all right, you do your own note, you write your own note on your papers, okay, and then you write any how you want it to be. Okay, but some of you, you might be uh, creative, okay? You have different highlighters, different color, and then you make your own notes, okay? But some, they just like, like me, I just write every stuff all over, like, like this, something like that. Uh, you can see, wow, okay? Sometimes, even me, myself, I can't see what I'm writing, <laughs> okay? So, but, uh, that is Bandukti here, okay? Where am I at? Yeah, there is Bandu T here. Okay. But when we talk about Pernyata, it's like the same note that you're doing, that you're making. Now, you have to make it into a PowerPoint. Why? Because did you say, okay, tomorrow you come and present this chapter. Okay, I want you to prepare a PowerPoint and present your... More works to do, lah, right? Okay, so whenever you got presentation for this uh, chapter, moral, you need to present. Uh, then this BM, one chapter, this one small chapter teacher also will need to present. So now you need to go home and then you need to use the PowerPoint and then you need to make it a bit, you know, more presentable. All right? That's why, that's what the difference here. So the bundle key is the same thing. The bundle punyata is the same content, the same nota. It's the same A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But the only difference is the way we present it. One is done in T, and then the other one is done in Penyata, the statement form, which is more presentable, more nicer. So when people read it, wow, a bit chanteh. Ah. But then if you do it in Penduk T, it's like a bit not up to standard. All right? Do you get what I mean now? If yes, give me a yes. Again, yes. So you need to know the difference between the bentuk T, why do we have bentuk T, and why do we have the bentuk penyata. Okay, and what uh, their functions. Because some students, until now, uh, they study accounting for up to Form 5 or even later than Form 5, they don't know why sometimes we got bentuk T, why do we have to trouble ourselves to, to have another bentuk penyata. All right, so this is, I would say, the main reason for it. Okay, so after you know that, so this now we are doing the Baduk T, and here is the format. You can see that the asset, 
is here. Alright, so your asset bukan semasa, asset semasa, everything is here, asset. And then here is your liability plus your equity per million. Can you see or not? Your equity per million and your liability. Liability bukan semasa and liability semasa. So that's it. Ring a bell to you. Is it something very familiar? Your asset equals to your liability plus equity per million, which is this one. Mm. All right, so this T, that's why I say this formula is super, super basic that each and every accountant or accounting student must know. So from now, you know that, okay, so you just have to know the asset is here. So it's either asset bukan semasa and asset semasa. And then the liability plus security family will be all on the this side, the credit side. All right, okay, now let's try. Okay, so first, always start off with your asset bukan semasa first. Your asset bukan semasa, then only your asset semasa. Same thing for liability. You start off with your liability bukan semasa first, then only to your liability semasa. Okay, so here first, you maybe give some the unit ringgit malaysia okay, so first will be your asset bukan semasa so you you have to know lah, like which one is asset bukan semasa which one is asset semasa okay so from here kenderaan yes kenderaan is the asset semasa i mean sorry asset bukan semasa and after that will be your account belum terima no inventory is semasa 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 Okay, so it's just one, your kenderaan. Okay, so how much is a kenderaan? You take from the latest figure, this one. Is it not yet? That's why this uh, PKK, you lah pada, when? Di ke puluh jun 2020. And here, that's why we are using this figure. We don't use this figure, we use this figure for 30 jun 2020. Unless, so I'm check out, kita nak penyata kedua kewangan pada 1 jun and when that happens, then which figure do we take? We take the figure here, June 1st. But hardly they will ask you that. Normally, they will ask you at the end of the tarik, which is uh, 30, sini. All right, so the kenderan, 56,000. Okay, and then after that, your asset semasa. Now, this asset semasa, you have to be a bit uh careful right because the only thing that we uh include here are these three things bank later we put back in our overdraft bank all right but for me to show you something uh maybe later lah, okay for now you go with the normal style so your inventory i mean sorry your account volume terima abt you put here ah. Why? Because we need to add up first. Then only we put here. Okay, so your ABT use uh, 3,300. So you put in the second, the left column, 3,300. Your inventory is 6,150. Your 29 is um, 1,570. Okay. But for this bank, you see, is a minus. Therefore, this is an overdraft bank. And overdraft bank, we put it where? We put it in our liability semester. So, which is in your right side later. Okay. So, for now, you complete this. You add up everything. Add up all your assets semester. Then you get 11,020. Okay. 11,020. Now, use this 56,000. Plus 11,020, you get a figure. Yeah, I'm not sure where yet. Okay, but we leave it first. Okay, we move on to here. For our equity, you start off with equity per million. You can see here. All right, you start off with equity per million. Okay, let us do your model. What is your model here? Your model is 55,650. 
Okay, so normally this one we say is a moda awal. You can put moda awal there. After that, you plus your apa, your untung bersih. Can you see your untung bersih here? So you put your untung bersih. How much? 4940. Okay, you add 4940. Okay, after that, you add up. So you get 60,590 and this one normally when you add before adding you need to have a line is it not so this one plus this one then a line then you get this one this is a joomla so this one we call it a model RQ. all right okay after that your liability bukan semasa okay question is do we have liability bukan semasa in this question the answer is no we only have abb and also overdraft bank isn't it so we can skip this one and straight away come to your liability semasa. Okay, so your liability semasa. Underline it. Okay, so all these like big title we underline it. Asset bukan semasa you underline. Asset semasa equity pemilih liability semasa you underline. Then only you put the item below it. Okay, so for liability semasa you got ABB account belum bayar, which is uh. 3,000, sorry, 6,030. And then lastly, don't forget about your bank, your overdraft bank. Okay, so you write overdraft bank. Uh, 400. Now here you don't have the minus. Huh? Okay, because you come to here, it becomes minus. I mean, sorry, your minus here in the asset. So when you come to the liability side, it becomes positive because overdraft bank itself is minus. So we know that in liability, this is uh, 400. Okay, unless you want to put bank here, then it will be minus 400. Is it? So it's either your minus 400 like here as a bank or overdraft bank 400 here but in here i don't encourage you to use bank minus 400 because uh in this exam in SBM, they want to test you do you know what is a overdraft bank ah they want you they want to test that okay when you see minus 400 you have to know that a minus 400 is an overdraft bank and overdraft bank is under lively semester so they want to they want you to put it here okay even though in, when you go to real world, the corporate world, when you're doing accounting, you can actually put a bank in the asset even though it's a bracket minus 400. It's the same thing actually. Okay, because when you see a bank of minus 400, we know that this is an overdraft bank. Okay, but the thing is now you're doing for SPM and they mark for your exam, so you have to follow their rules. You get it? All right, so here 400. Okay, I think that's all. So you add up these two and put it here, just like here. So normally when you want to add something, you put it in the, uh, the second column, I would say. Okay, the second column, and then you, after you add, then you bring it back to the main column. Okay, so you add them. Okay, so at the end, use this one plus this one, get this figure this one this is a final joomla and this final joomla has to be one line double line can you see it all right need to be one line double line okay so now once you get this in the same line okay here, which is here for this journal here, then you put one line and double line as well, like this one. You need to be in the same row. Ah. You tabule sini, then you put down here. Satu atas, satu atas, satu bawah. Or here. Cannot. One is here, one is here. Tak, tak sama, tak imbang. Cannot. It has to be in the same line. That's why just now at first, I didn't straight away put here. Because I know that sometimes here will be longer. 
So you see where, wherever is longer, then you follow the other one. Right? So for now, the here is longer. So you put here and then the, the, the left side, the debit side, will follow with the credit side here. All right? So then you add up. Okay, so you use for your Joomla in the asset side, is a 56,000, you add your 11,020, you get the same figure. You see? So it's 67,020, 67,020. So this is your PKK. All right? You guys okay? Now, if, if, uh, for this question, uh, I don't put overdraft bank here. If I do it the other way, see, uh, see the magic of it. Mm. So here I put bank, uh, okay? So the bank is how much here? The bank is minus 400, right? Okay, so this one will be gone. Uh. Okay, let's say I move the overdraft bank instead of here. I put it here, okay? So now you add up the figure here. Minus 400 plus 1,570. Look at the figure. Okay, so if instead I put a bank here, in the asset side, okay, instead of the liability side, you see that my Joomla, of course, it will be the same as well, here and here, summer. But when you compare back to your Jado Persamaan, you see 6620 is the same with your 66620. It's the same. Why? Because the bank in your Jado Persamaan is actually in the asset side. Therefore, when you move the bank to here, it becomes not the same. Here and this, here and here, not same. But here itself is correct, and here is correct also. The other salah. It's just that you're putting the bank in different side. So when you switch back, if you put the bank back, same in the asset side, like here in the asset, under the asset column, then you make it minus 400, exactly the same. So you add up everything at the end, you get this one. Why? Because in your general person, you are adding all this figure asset, you get 66620. And in your PKK, is the same thing. You're adding the same figure as here. Of course, your figure will be the same. And same for here as well. Your uh, equity formula plus liability semester. You're adding this one plus this one plus this one. Same for here. This one plus this one plus this one, you get this one. Can you see it or not? Can you see the bigger picture of this thing? If yes, you give me a C, S E E in the chat box. Okay, make sure you see it. Huh? All right, but of course, in exam, normally the question won't be like that. Okay, the, the rest of the questions that you're going to do should be the same, like this one. 66620 will be the same as this here, 66620. All right, so, but now, okay, we I don't encourage you to put bank here because you have to put the overdraft bank here. That's why it's a bit different. Or you change this bank to here and you make it overdraft bank. Ah. Then the figure will be the same here. This one and this one will be the same. So here will become 6720 and here will become 67020 as well. All right, but now we don't need to. So that's all. Okay, so are you guys done for this one? This part, you, you don't have to do for this one. You just know this one will do. Okay, if done, give me a done.
Okay, he's done, Jimmy done. All right. Okay, very good. So that's all here for your Kisaman Pekanan. And mm, okay, so next class I uh, will discuss the last question together with you. All right, but uh before that, can okay, look at this one. Let's finish the here. The chatak mantra, right? And you can oh, by the way, you can see that I I give you the format, and also I tell you that the jumla debit here, the jumla debit, and the jumla credit. And by the way, you need to know that here is debit, and here is credit. Ah, uh. all right. Here is the debit side. Your your left side is the debit side. Your right side is the credit side. Is the refix ah uh? always like that? Okay, debit on your left and credit on your right here. Okay, so the jumlah debit dan jumlah credit mesti imbang. Um, imbang means what? Same. Must be the same. All right. Okay. Then here is a chatting contract. And what is chatting contract? Chatting contract is uh, something that we mengurangkan your baki account. When I explain here, normally student will forget about it. You will get refreshed when you go to your bug seven, eight, and so on, and also form five. But now, I still have to go through with you, okay? So here are the five, one, two, three, four, five account begaitan. So you got asset bukan semasa, asset bukan semasa, all the asset bukan semasa, like kenderaan, uh, perabot, okay? They have something, which is called susut nilai terkumpu. This susut nilai terkumpu akan mengurangkan uh, nilai aset bunga semasa tu. Alright. Then for your ABT, your account belum terima, ada something called peruntukan hunan ragu. So when you first sing it, you'll be like, hey, what are these stuff? Ah? Like long, so long term. Okay. And you don't even know like what does it mean? Like hutang ragu. Okay. But no worries. And I won't go deep into it today, this will be what for your seven and eight chapters. I'll be uh, explaining it there. All right, then for more, that will be ambulant. Lah. Okay, so this is a very simple example for this one. So when you go back to equity formula, formula you can see that your ambulant is to minus your model. Can you see or not? It's a minus. So this is an example, right? So when you normally you see a minus, it's actually a Chatterton contra. So here, what is the channel contra for modal? It will be ambulant. Is it? So modal is an account begaitan. So this part are the chatatan, the, the contra, sorry, it's called a contra. Someone that is opposite of this one. So when this one plus, if you see an ambulant, then you have to minus. That's what it means. All right. Then Joran will have be pulang Joran. So when you when you draw barang, what is the opposite? Act of it, the opposite action of it. We pulangkan orang itu pulangkan jalan kepada saya. Ah, okay. So this is called catatan kontra. And then another term for pulangkan jalan will be called a pulangan masuk, right? This is the same thing, same masuk but different terms. Okay. Then belian same thing. If you have pulangan jalan, then you have pulangan belian. Alright. So belian kontra will be pulangan belian. Or another term will be called pulangan kela. Alright. So these are the five stuff. Okay, normally they will come out in your, uh, I mean, this kind of more specific questions will be coming out in your objective questions. Maybe just one question, one or two questions. Okay, so this is your chatter than contra. Okay, so with that being said, uh, it's almost time. So I'll give you homework. So your homework for today will be Go to page 26. You have to do question 19, question 20, question 21, and question 22. Just four questions. All right. Uh, all these four questions are your jadual persamaan perkanan. Okay. So all these questions are in this your workbook. And 
starting from question 20, is it? Let me see, question 26. Let me sorry, page 26, question 19. So question 19, as usual, you just do the, the table already given, the Jada Persimmon already given. So you just copy and do. And then for starting from question 20, okay, now from 20, 21 and 22, you are not only required to do the Jada Persimmon, you have to do what? You have to do the Penyata Kedudungan Keuangan as well. Okay, and all this, do it in Bendok T. All right, page 26. You can see it here, page 26. All right, page 26, question 19, 20, and 21. This book, the form 4 workbook Pelangi. All right, so 19, 20, 21, 22. And so for this 20, 21, 22, make sure you complete uh, the A and the B, uh, the Jada Bersaman, Perkanan, and also the PKK. So once you have done all these four questions, I'm sure you are actually very good at this chapter, Bersaman, Perkanan. All right, so. If you have ready uh, another down today's homework, then you may leave. All right, I will see you in the next class. See you. Bye.